Allah gives and Allah takes. I fear that I do not have much time left in this world, yet I cannot complain. My life has been an adventure, and for all my humility, I believe it has been extraordinary enough to be written about. You may accuse me of vanity, but I have decided to write the book myself. It should be good literature, after all. I dined with fine emirs and caroused with simple peasants on moonlit steps. They waged wars and sat on thrones only to lose them again. And it all began in the maelstrom of intrigue and bloody skirmishes that was my beloved Transoxiana, the melting pot of Persian high culture and nomadic traditions. To the east of Samarkand, my father ruled the fertile slopes of the Fergana Valley. Like all heirs of Tamerlane, he was a proud Timurid who sought to imitate his great ancestor. Unfortunately, Allah had not blessed him with a knack for warfare. After a few humiliating defeats, he decided to devote himself to his other passions. Eating, drinking, and rearing pigeons. One day, as my father was climbing the stairs to check on his birds, Allah, in his infinite wisdom, decided that this model of gluttony had waffled on the earth for long enough. Halfway up to the dovecote, the stairs collapsed under him, and he fell to his death. And that is how I, Babur, came to be lord of the Fergana Valley. Yet, like all transitions of power in our culture, it was not to be a peaceful one. Thanks to my dear mother, Kutluk, my bays agreed not to abandon what surely appeared to be a dynasty in shambles. But my devious uncles were another matter. At that time, I was just a 14-year-old boy with nothing to my name, and my uncles, who had long desired the Fargana Valley, thought that my inheritance was ripe for the taking. Men sneak around in the shadows of our walls, my princess. Shall we get the boy to safety? These cowards snuck up in the dark of the night, but there is no need to fearfully hide. Hold our position until dawn, and the sun will reveal the faces of these scoundrels.
Just as I expected. Some of your greedy uncles were among the attackers. They are not worthy of ruling glorious Samarkand. And since they failed to seize our homeland, we will now take theirs. I got them. Much can be achieved if you trust in Allah and your own strength. But it cannot hurt to have loyal allies by your side. Seek out other emirs in the area who can be convinced to join our cause. Salam, Kuhraimen. The young tiger with both Tamerlanes and Temuchin's blood in his veins. Very well. Bring me ten white horses, and we shall form an alliance following our traditional custom. I have no troops to spare, Babur, but my people report that the Uzbeks construct siege weapons in a nearby camp. I would rather see these powerful devices in your hands than theirs. Right there. Hey, 
full front end. I got that uh, full chip guy there.
Ja. That is indeed a pretty horse that you brought me, Babu. But its fur is brown, not white. Don't try to trick me, young man.
Sayyar mı? Bargay mı? Selam. Kurgay mı? 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 Kaan açkay mı? Come <laughs> on. 
Kaldera keskenään. I see that you can be relied on, Babu. Ten splendid white horses, exactly as agreed. Come, henceforth, we ride under the banner of the tiger. Your father was not exactly a religious man. Do you care more for pious people, Babu? Then bring me a holy relic.
Allah must love you greatly if you manage to find this relic and bring it to me. My dervishes and I will stand by your side in the coming battles, Babur. Well done, my boy. Two influential Timrids have joined us. Skill diplomacy is as good a weapon as a sword. Sometimes. Well done, Tiger! You will easily crush your devious uncles with these trebuchet!
zu schunden. Da hat er nichts. of our enemies' camps. If we destroy the remaining ones, Samarkand will be under our control.
var mı? Hazır. Kuhray Bey. Selam Gay mı? These rats! Destroy the last enemy camp, and Samarkand will be Babur's! Cry with pride and happiness. Samarkand, Tamerlane's dearest bride, is back in the hands of the true Timurid. And this man of honor is you, my son. As delightful as it is to watch these duffed grunt children of Tamerlane slaughter each other, it is getting a little boring. I mean, it's time to put an end to this juvenile struggle. I see your anger, my son, but it is good that the Uzbeks are so haughty. Reckless opponents are easy to overcome. Gargan, Gurgan, Khan, 
hazır. Kurallanınlar. Emriniz hazır. Salam. Salam. Kaan, açık Shaveoni Khan's men are like blaze of grass. Where one falls, another takes its place. Tiger has shown his clothes. Mark my words, Bob. We will meet again. On a moonless autumn night, we overcame the walls of Samarkand. The city's merchants and dignitaries were thrilled to receive me and praised my sense of justice, as they had heard that I did not tolerate looting among my soldiers. Yet when Shaybani Khan returned in the spring, and Uzbek soldiers blocked the trade routes, their enthusiasm quickly evaporated. Before long, a famine broke out in the city. As the weeks wore on, more and more of my men left Samarkand under the pretext that they might catch a few sheep outside of the walls. None of them were ever seen again. In the end, I realized that I had to gamble for my survival. With my last loyal followers, I snuck past the besiegers during the night and sped towards the Fergana Valley to procure provisions and reinforcements. When we reached the valley at dawn, two riders came bringing terrible in my absence, one of Shaybani's generals had made himself the new master of Fergana, 
I felt like my father must have when the stairs gave way under him. I had stretched my luck too thin and lost the land of my forefathers to the invaders. <laughs>